Hello and welcome to the video where we're going to do three basic things. Number one, we are going to install the free terminal emulator called PuTTY. Number two, we're going to connect the console cable from our USB port on our computer over to the console port on the networking device. And we're also going to verify what port it's using. I'll show you how to do that exactly. And then third, we're going to configure the terminal emulator so it can actually allow our computer with the terminal emulator to communicate with the network device over the console port. And to make sure that we're both on the same page for this, this represents the PC that I'm currently sitting at. This represents the Cisco gear. I'm going to use a little 3568 port switch. And this represents the console cable. So task number one is to install the terminal emulator software of PuTTY on our PC. Let's do that right now. So I just brought up a browser and I'm just going to search for PuTTY. P-U-T-T-Y and press enter. And out of the results here, I'm going to go to the one that's putty.org and click on that link right there. So here's an option for download PuTTY from putty.org. I'll go ahead and click on here. And then I have some options because I'm running Windows. I have a 32-bit flavor or 64-bit. I'm going to go ahead and use the 64-bit by clicking on it. And that's going to download the installer. So let's go ahead and click on that. And they'll simply say next, next, next to go ahead and take all the defaults for the installation of this terminal emulator called PuTTY. So now that PuTTY is installed on this computer, the terminal emulator called PuTTY, the next thing we're going to do is take this cable which is the console cable with USB on one side and the connector that goes into the console port on the other side and plug this in to our computer and also plug it into the networking gear. Now, before I plug in the cable, let me go full screen here and show you what I'm doing. Down at the bottom, you can click on the little Windows icon and then type in in the search field, device space manager, and then press enter and it'll open up device manager. And then in device manager, what I'd like you to do is look under ports. Now, if you go under, it's alphabetically sorted. So if you go down to portable devices and there's no ports there, no problem. Because once we do plug in this cable, that cable, this guy right here, is going to show up as a COM port, like COM1, COM2, COM3, COM4, something to that effect. We'll see here in a moment. So the benefit of looking at this right here, before I plug it in, I can realize, hey, I've got a port called COM1. And after I plug this in, I'll have a new COM port. And that way I can know exactly which COM port I should tell PuTTY, the terminal emulator, to go ahead and use. Let me go ahead and walk over to the computer and I'll plug this in right now. So I just plugged the USB cable of the console port into the computer and now still here in Device Manager. And now if we go down to COM and LPT, check it out. That USB serial port, COM3, is the cable that I just plugged in. And the reason that this is important is because when we go to PuTTY, our terminal emulator, and we configure it and say, which, you know, which port should it use? We want to tell it, the terminal emulator, to use COM3, because that represents this cable that's going to go to our Cisco device. So while we're thinking about it, let me take this Cisco device, which is currently powered on, and I'm going to take the console cable and plug it into the console port on this device. So what we've done so far is we've installed PuTTY, the terminal emulator. Number two, we've connected the cable and identified what port the computer believes that cable is. And the third step is right now going to go ahead and configure PuTTY to tell it to use that port. So on my machine, it is COM3. So I can go ahead and close Device Manager. And I'm going to go down in the bottom left-hand corner of Windows and type in P-U-T-T-Y. And there's the PuTTY app that we just installed a moment ago. I'll open that up. And now it's asking for, OK, great, how do I connect? So let's go ahead and create a new session. And I'm going to call mine console because when I connect to this thing called console, it's going to go out that USB cable, the serial cable, out to the console port on the device. Now, besides just specifying the name, I'm also going to specify that we want to communicate over the serial ports, meaning I want to use a serial port on this local computer. And furthermore, I want to use COM3. So I'm going to change COM1, which happened to be the default there, to COM3. So that's half the battle right there, is specifying the correct COM port. And also check this out. We also want to specify the correct speed. And the speed here by default is 9600, which represents 9600 bits per second, which is relatively slow. Why not use something faster? And the reason is that most Cisco devices are expecting that exact speed. So if you try to go too fast or too slow, it's not going to line up and you're not going to have successful communications. So having put all of that in, I'm going to click on Save. That saves this entry called Console with those details. And then we can just go ahead and double click on Console to launch it. and and now that we have launched it, we get this prompt. <laughs> Looks like a black screen with a green cursor. I'm going to press Enter. Boom! And we are now connected on the console port. And one way we can verify that is we can type in who. And the command who is the same as show users. It's going to show you who's connected and where they're connected from. So this little asterisk right here means that that's our current connection. And it's showing that we're currently connected to the console line. 
also in Cisco terms that's often referred to as line console zero. And we'll have a separate video more on just that aspect as well. So let's recap. What have we done in this video? Number one, we have installed a free terminal emulation program called PuTTY on our computer. Number two, we connected the console cable to our computer on a USB port and to the console port on a network device. In our case, we used a switch, but the same concept would be used for a router or a firewall, etc., from Cisco systems and from other vendors as well. And we also identified with device manager what port, what logical com communications port the computer believed that cable is connected off of. And then we used that information as we configured PuTTY to go ahead and use that COM port and also use 9600 bits per second for the serial connection so we could access it. And then once we launched that, we also had to press enter to go ahead and get the first line of output from that Cisco device on the console port. So thanks for joining me in this video about using a terminal emulator to connect to the console port on a networking device. If you found some value out of this video, hey, let others know, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you wanna get alerts and notifications on new videos that come in all the time, click on subscribe, join the party, we'd love to have you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.